Abuse comes in many forms and can affect us for many years later. Family members show forth qualities that are found in all dysfunctional social systems and our whole world is one of them. So that's why a lot of people relate to my work. They may have some of the qualities too. Being a survivor alone is enough. It's a testimony to the resiliency of the human spirit. Breaking Free, the video, offers stories of abuse and recovery as told in art. Part 1, Meet the Family, is great for general audiences. It's very informative about abuse and dysfunction and recovery. Every section ends with healing images to soothe the spirit. If you got in trouble at home, you'd be called to the footstool of Dad, sort of like an audience with God. Standing at the footstool, looking at his big old feet. And it was a pretty scary place to be standing. You did not want to be standing there. For shame, he might tell you. Shame is big in dysfunctional, abusive families. But it would be a shame about who you were. And that's the mistaken use of that power. Abuse makes you scared. And when you're scared, the blood goes out of your head, right into your arms and legs, like, so that you can fight or you can flight. But you're not allowed to do that in an abusive home. So there you are, brainless. I know that out-of-body feeling well, having felt it much in my life. Survivor's Tour Part 2 goes deeper into family issues, as well as sexual abuse and other stories. Mom, the perps, and recovery art take center stage. It brings abuse right out of the closet. The show ends with first aid for the heart, loving messages, and recovery. This is a must-see for abuse survivors, adult children of dysfunction, artists, and everyone of insight who would love to see an end to abuse in all its forms. It brings healing. Everybody has something bigger than themselves that they can use to help them heal. Loving self-care and kindness is very important for survivors to focus on. You can't do this kind of work without a lot of loving care and kindness. Never too late to have a happy childhood. The qualities of dysfunctional families are well documented. A lot of people relate, and I surely do. I have a lot of the qualities. Traits of a dysfunctional family include fear of dealing with feelings, fear of losing control, fear of abandonment, fear of intimacy. That, of course, affects spontaneity and ability to have fun. Adult children of dysfunction are often stuck in their selves and stuck in resentment. They tend to focus too much on others and have poor self-care. And the life can center around reaction to others, that codependency. They can also be the opposite, very self-centered. We're often victimizers, or we are victims, or both. We confuse love with pity. We have very low self-esteem, low confidence, harsh self-criticism often. We're very good at denial. A lot of us have real strict perfectionism in the black and white thinking. We tend to be over-responsible or very irresponsible oftentimes. Adult children of dysfunction show these attributes as well as adult children of abuse. clock in the picture and little ghoulish figures. 
Maybe they made my dad do all the bad things and have all the tantrums. This is Mother the Beautiful. I loved her so much and felt so much a part of her. A dedication. Here she is looking so perfectly. She always looked beautiful to me. With the flowers in her hand and the dried flowers around. Give this a little bit of a funeral atmosphere. I've always been a crafter, an artisan of sorts, but nothing like what started pouring out of me in 2007 after a traumatic event really changed my life. At times like that, our weaknesses and our strengths can come out in so many ways, and, and that's exactly what happened to me. And this is the story that appeared out of me at that time, and it helped me in my own personal healing. Part three I call the advanced class. It includes my later works, more detail, holidays, the family dinner table, and dark humor, which played a role in my healing. It includes self-portraits, codependency, relationship dynamics, and where to now. Paddle you mom again. She's an actual paddle. It's a bolo bat paddle. She was crazy making when she got that paddle in her hand. My mother and myself were moving on. Art sees beauty in all truth, even in the ugly, and that to me is really something special. There's so much more to be revealed, and all of this work is, as I am, a work in progress. Join me on the journey.